Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Emmanuel Arts. This is your crafty host Priyanka. Today I'm here with a beautiful DIY wall hanging and all you all the materials required to make this project will be available in your craft room and you can use anything any other things that you have available in your craft room you do not have to follow the materials i have used but the basic materials you will require are cardboard boxes and some scrap yarn so get your cardboard boxes scrap yarn and some glue gun ready and let's get crafting as usual all the materials will be in the description below and now let's begin with our tutorial and let our creativity flow so see you on the other side with the tutorial. To begin with the tutorial, the first step is to take a packaging box or any cardboard that you have and cut a circle out of it. So this is a six inch, uh, six inch in diameter circle. And then I have cut out another six inch diameter circle and then cut out the inner circle one inch smaller than the actual circle. So this is six inch I mean the outer outer circle is 6 inch and the inner circle is 5 inches. Next step is to take a scrap yarn and start wrapping it around the ring. To secure the beginning point onto the ring, I'm going to take a piece of tape and then place it over the yarn so that it does not move. Now just begin wrapping the yarn. all around the ring. Make sure you are wrapping it close to each yarn so that none of the base or the cardboard is seen. So just keep wrapping around. So I am going to go ahead and complete the wrapping offline and then I will come back to show you the next step. I have gone ahead and completed the wrapping of the yarn around all over the ring. I went over twice with the yarn. The next step after completing this is to take the other circle that we cut out and here I have cut out a circle to the size of this circle from a patterned paper and I also cut out the same size circle from craft paper. You can use uh, any paper that you have available You for uh, the back of the circle. You can use gift wrapping paper, newspaper or anything. I just had the craft paper lying handy. So that's why I'm using the craft paper. And also you can use any colored pattern paper that you want. I'm using brown with polka dots for my, uh, my wall hanging. So we take the ta adhesive tape runner and just glue both the circles onto the cardboard circle that we cut out. You might not be able to see on the camera but I have glue all over the circle and I am going to take my cardboard circle and place the pattern paper onto it. And then just give it a firm pressure and it is ready. Now on the back side, I'm going to do the similar thing. I'm going to take the craft paper, apply my adhesive tape runner and stick it on the back. So I'm going to do this offline and then I'll come back with the next step. I've gone ahead and stuck the craft paper on the back of my cardboard circle. Now I'm going to take my brown sharpie and color the, and color the edges around. So just take my sharpie and then color it all over to give it an even coat and also when you look from the side you don't see the color of the cardboard so i'm just going to color it on the edges all around you can use any color that is uh, go that goes along with the pattern paper you chose i am using brown because my pattern paper is brown in color but if your pattern paper is blue you can use blue if it's green you can use green so i'm going to go ahead and finish the circle and come back after you have done coloring the edge of the circle, the next step is to take our yarn wrap ring and get our glue guns heated up. We have to stick the yarn ring onto the cardboard circle that we covered with the pattern paper. So take your glue gun, heat it up well and start applying glue onto the yarn, it, yarn ring itself. 
make sure you apply applying an even coat and a large number of glue so that it will stay put so i've gone ahead and completely applied glue all over the ring now i'm going to place this ring onto the cardboard circle and give it a firm pressure this is how it should look like once this ring is ready we are ready to do our decoration so for this the decorations or decoration of the ring i have made some flowers from yarn so i've used different uh, methods i've made i've made this from the henna emmy loom uh and um, this one i crocheted and the small the bigger one i crocheted and then the smaller one i used the henna ami loom again and then added some pearl stones in the center for each of them similarly this one is from henna ami and these two are crocheted if you want to learn how to make these flowers i will go make a video tutorial in the future and if you really want to know how we have i made these flowers you can leave me a comment below i did not want to go into the details of making the flower for this video as it will make the video too long and then it will be too tedious for you guys to watch keep on watching this video so for this for to video purposes i have just already pre-made all the flowers and decorated them i'm just going to take my glue gun and start placing the flowers onto the ring so i'm going to take my glue gun and apply a dot of glue onto the center of the flower and start placing it where i want them to be to place this here then i'm going to take my other blue and white flower and again apply a dot of glue onto the center of it and place it on top of this flower so here i have placed all my flowers you go ahead and decorate your ring with the flowers and i will come back with the next step so after i have done the uh, done up, uh, adding all the flowers to the ring i'm going to add some shells so these shells i found at dollar tree they were a big bag of shells for a dollar and as you can hear my son's very chirpy today morning i don't know what's got into him so just to give it a little bit of shine and who doesn't like glitter in their life i'm going to paint the, this with glitter so i'm taking two colors of glitter i'm using the recollections uh frost and bubble gum and they are fine glitter powders and i'm going to take a piece of cardboard so i'm taking some clear glue onto the cardboard and i'm going to take a brush that i have already damaged while doing some previous paintings so i'm going to use a damaged brush take a little bit of pink glitter mix it with the clear glue properly and then start coloring from the from the back end of the shell this is an optional step but i love to add glitter to my to my craft so that's why I, i'm just adding glitter you can uh, you can just skip this step and just add um shells the way they are So here the shell is complete. I have added glitter all over it and I have already gone ahead and pre made a couple of more shells like here. And 
and these two and I'm going to let them dry before proceeding to the next step. I've let, left the shells to dry on the side and I'm moving on to the next step. I've taken a scrap piece of felt, uh, green in color, to make the leaves. So I'm going to fold it in half, take my pair of scissors and then just cut a shape of the leaf and here I have a leaf. Next I'm going to take my green sharpie and draw some veins in it. I'm just going to add some veins. And this is how the leaf looks like. The glitter on my shell have finally dried up. So I'm going to start placing them onto the ring. I'm going to flip over my shell, take my glue gun and add glue to the back base of the shell. I'm going to place this shell next to the blue flower. And it will be hanging out a little bit. That's why I did not add glue all over, just added it to the back of the base. I've gone ahead and placed the shells where I wanted to position them and I've also started adding the leaves. To add the leaves, I've just taken the leaf and added a dot of glue at the broad side of the leaf and placed it where I wanted to position it. So I'm just going to place this leaf right here next to the pink flower. Next, I have cut out this fish from a piece of cardboard and painted it and added some glitter and now I'm going to place it right here next to the shell. So I'm going to take my glue gun and add some, gl add some glue where, I want, uh, where it's going to be added onto the ring and I'm going to place it right above the shell. Placed it right above the shell and I'm going to press it down firmly so it sticks properly. So this completes one ring of the wall hanging. We have completed one ring out of the five rings that I made. I'm not going to show the tutorial for all five, but I'm just going to show you how I placed them and what I did, what kind of decoration I did on the ring. So to begin with the largest, to begin with the largest ring, I have, I have done this kind of decorations with big flowers, small flowers, more shells some open shells with pearls in them and added leaves so this is the largest ring the one that i showed you the tutorial of is the second largest and you all you have already seen how i placed everything the third one is the one smaller than that and i have placed a mermaid some open and closed shells, some flowers and leaves. If you want to see how I made this mermaid, leave me a comment below and I will upload a tutorial for it. On top of that, I have done a mermaid castle and added some sh small shells with some leaves and I just painted this onto a piece of cardboard. For the final one, I have written home sweet home and this will go at the topmost position and then the castle will follow then the mermaid then the ring which I showed you the tutorial and then the largest one. So these are the five pieces that I made for my wall hanging and I have chosen the underwater scene with mermaid and castle. You can do any scene that you want you can add beach you can add school theme you can just add different kind of flower theme or party or new year or christmas whatever the festival is you can do the theme accordingly so this is my, uh, this is what theme i have chosen but you can explore and widen your imagination and use it to make your own wall hanging so i'm going to uh, attach all of these together and show you how it looks 
uh, completed. We have finished our wall hanging and this is how it looks like. The first layer, the second layer, the third layer with the mermaid, the fourth layer the tutorial which I showed you and the fifth layer the biggest ring of all. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends and family if you like this tutorial. Also subscribe to my channel for more fun crafty DIY ideas and exciting events that I have planned for this year. Thank you so much for watching my video and keep keep on coming back to get more fun and crafty DIY tutorials. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bless you all.